Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you the end of the quarter, 29 May. It's a Friday. Quite a few things on my mind. We had a bit of a turnaround in yields yesterday. First real uh, turnaround day we've had in about six days. Here's the Boon chart up in front of us. bit early to make this call um, that this low impossibly low yield period is over but looks like short boons today is going to be okay we've got European we've got German import prices and German retail sales today we also have German unemployment this is going to be watched very closely by the fixed income market and by the euro yen market um, after the PMI bombs from last week so this will be of big interest to us today expectations uh, retail sales are expected at minus 0 0.1 um, import prices plus 0 0.5 and unemployment change minus 10k so expectations are pretty low um, this this is worth watching if these things beat plus the French uh, CPI is coming out also Italian CPI if these numbers start to turn the charts have turned we're at these hysterical levels. I mean, this is hysterical. Obviously, we've talked about it a million times. Boons at minus seven basis points is hysterical. Uh, we personally capitulated on our medium-term structures two days ago. So I'm sure a lot of other people also capitulated, uh, which means perhaps uh, positioning is lighter. Um, so something to look at here. Uh, rates possibly a little bit higher today. We also have Canadian GDP. Let's go to the dollar CAD chart. Uh, this should be quite interesting. We're at the range highs in dollar CAD. 134.65 uh, is the key high. Yesterday we printed up to 50, I believe. Um, yeah, 134.50. We were fooling around the CAD a little bit, um, just grabbing some pips. Have to see what happens here. This this could be very interesting. A, a weak um, GDP report. They're expecting pl uh, plus 0 0.1. This thing could really fly. The only problem with this is, of course, crude put in a crazy bar yesterday, right down to the neckline, 58.20. The neckline is 17. If you recall, huge tail now, smack in the middle of this, basically 58.20, 60.40. Um, we're short crude, but got to say that bar yesterday doesn't look good, too good for the shorts. There will be, there will be stops above 60, 40, um, including ours. So we'll have to see. So keep an eye on crude. We've got CAD GDP today. And then of course we have, um, trade and Brexit bullshit today. So we're going to have some more headlines from Munchen, probably European morning, because remember they're in China. I don't expect the deal to be done, but keep your eyes out uh, for the trade stuff if you have an Aussie position. More importantly than the trade, because I think trade is probably going to be settled or not settled um, next week, we have Chinese PMI over the weekend. And this is going to be make or break for the Aussie uh, and the risk sentiment heading into next week. Obviously, it's tough. To, you know, you can't really take risk over the weekend, and I'm not suggesting you know people pile in one way or the other. But it's going to make for a very interesting open on Sunday. You know, Sunday evening our time, Monday morning Wellington and Sydney. Uh, keep in mind the Chinese data is out over the weekend, which will be watched. This will be closely watched. A few other things on my mind. Dollar czar printed uh, up to 75 yesterday and then came back. Now we're trading at 60. That looks like a turn bar. 
um, but also keep in mind we have Moody's with a ratings call on the South African Rand today at some point. So if they downgrade that shit, um, look out. What else is there? Dollar Turkey, we want to keep an eye on this. Uh, with all their tomfoolery going on with the forwards market and the overnight swaps market, people are losing faith in this currency. Um, are we going to make a new high over 585? I don't suggest I don't suggest trading this. It's very hard to trade. Liquidity is just awful right now. But use it as a risk bellwether. Obviously, if you see see this thing screaming higher, um, if Turkey does implode, uh, this is going to be really negative uh, for Germany. Obviously, the two countries have very very close ties. Um, so this is worth watching. Bad Turkey is bad for Europe. Dollar yen looks like it wants to turn higher. Uh, we had a long tail yesterday and and uh, made a new daily high today up at 93. As do all the cross yen. So let's look at euro yen. Not as powerful as the dollar yen chart, but euro yen looks like it wants to turn. It failed miserably down there at 123.68. I mean. We sold through uh, we sold through 80, and you know adding to core. Boy, it looked great, right? I mean, it just cruised through and sitting there, bouncing around 70, 68 given, and then uh, I guess like everybody else, got smoked. This little trend line helped helped us get some money back. You know, we we got long a bit, traded around the long side there make some pennies uh, dollar yen as well we got long up through 70 made some pennies there um, it just looks like risk is turning um, and if Brexit is solved if the trade deal is solved this market is incredibly pessimistic uh, so you just have to be aware of this and this is what the tactical book is all about you look both ways you may have a view we obviously have a view that stocks are going to correct and we have that structured in options um, that's already been paid for with Delta and we sold some 2700 puts uh, you know, a couple weeks ago against it but the day book's the day book right I mean if we go risk on today just you gotta be you gotta be ready for it so look both ways um, you know and, and what this call is is all about is just finding points in the market where we can make money looking both ways um, even though I am my view is risk off you got to recognize when things are risk on and when gold collapses 25 bucks when dollar yen turns like that when dollar rand puts a bar in like that when equities kind of float crude goes higher boons turn you know, you got to recognize it. And I think money today is going to be made on the risk on side. Um, so we shall see. Uh, our first focus is going to be trying to short the boons a bit. And then we are going to be looking at perhaps euro yen, trying to get long euro yen, depending on how this European data comes out, and trying to get long core uh, dollar yen as well. All right, that's all I got for you. Keep in mind it is month and quarter end, so there'll be all kinds of uh, silliness at the fix at the end of the day. We tend to close our, our books uh, at lunchtime, but today we have Canadian um, GDP, so we'll probably close the books around 2. Anyway, wish you guys a profitable day and a good weekend. I'll talk to you on Monday. Ciao.